Need it fixed? Service with a smile repairs electronics on the phone at 836-0454 on the web at servicewithasmile.com. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this Thursday edition, December the 27th. We have low clouds as we look at the Compass Bank Skycam. Looking over downtown Birmingham, we can see the low clouds also as we look over the city of Clanton. And the low clouds are visible across the city of Demopolis as we look over the Tom Bigby River. So a low cloud morning, but temperatures a little bit warmer. We'll talk about that in just a minute. A uh, little bit of a storm system that moved through here yesterday and, uh, and last night brought a little bit of rain, but very little, unfortunately, uh, less than I thought would occur. Um, generally, rainfall amounts less than a quarter of an inch. But a new storm system is developing out to our west at 500 millibar level. We can see the little trough over the uh, eastern Ohio River Valley that brought us the weather uh, last night. And then we've got the deeper trough over the Four Corners area that's going to be coming our way Friday, bringing us the potential for some rain and p potentially some severe weather. Here's a look at the temperatures this morning. Still relatively mild across the central Alabama. We're in the uh, mid and upper 40s for the most part, with temperatures uh, generally about 10 degrees warmer than they were at this time yesterday morning. Well, the good news is still that it looks like over the next four days, primarily on Friday and Sunday, we could still see on the order of two to three. Now, I know the HBC guys are still sticking to their guns about nearly four, but I think really a more realistic number is to think in order of two to three, uh, with the potential for uh, one inch on Friday and another inch or so on Sunday. Here is the SPC's uh, Storm Prediction Center's outlook for severe weather, and this is for Friday. This is the day two outlook. Looks like uh, it's going to depend once again on how far north we can get the uh, more unstable air and whether or not we can get these thunderstorms rooted in the boundary layer down near the surface as opposed to being elevated. So we'll have to be watching that carefully to see how that unfolds. The 06Z GFS model run shows the trough coming out. This is the map for tomorrow at midday. Shows that uh, Four Corners trough ejecting across the central part of the United States. And as it does, we see a low pressure storm center uh, over, uh, oh, about eastern Kentucky there, and a cold front stretching down to New Orleans. That system will move through fairly quickly. And by Saturday, I think we'll be out of the woods, not necessarily out of the clouds, but certainly out of the rain. The uh, Trough over the East Coast begins to sharpen back up on Sunday, and that's going to put us in a position where, with a weak low over the Gulf Coast, we may see some additional rain. Now, this is still a little bit iffy, but if this happens, we could have some really beneficial rains with perhaps an all-day kind of event. The trough continues to sharpen up with a long-wave trough position developing over the eastern part of the country on Monday, and then by New Year's Day, we see that trough becoming very, very sharp as uh, these little short waves uh, come into the trough and help to intensify it. By uh, that first day of January, you can see the thickness is getting much, much colder, so we're going to, or much lower, and that means much colder air. And then by Tuesday, I think the uh, trough, pardon me, by Wednesday, the second, we see that trough is really deepened on the uh, southeast U.S. coast and that really brings in the cold air, so I think actually Wednesday morning and Wednesday could be our coldest day uh, so far. The trough moves on fairly briskly, and as it does, we come under a ridge, so it's going to be, uh, the cold is going to be somewhat short-lived. And then by Friday the 4th, we're seeing another trough come by, which is uh, pretty much dry, although we're seeing the gulf open up on Friday, and that may uh, bring the way for some additional rains on the following uh, Sunday. Now here is, uh, we're getting out into voodoo land. Here is the 6th of January, Sunday, and you can see a good trough coming across the central U.S. And with that, another round of weather and some wet weather for us. And of course, with that deficit that we have, we can really use that. By Wednesday the 9th, uh, we're back under a ridge, but another shortwave trough moving through the flow, and that is developing another storm system that is a little further north, but that could drag a front across the southeastern U.S. So the bottom line is lots of active weather to be concerned about. And of course, stay tuned to ABC 3340 for the latest weather information as we watch the potential for this developing severe weather on Friday. 
Hope that you have a great Thursday. God bless. 